nice to uh, Brendan Ingram. What is up everybody? Welcome back to MGN Diego. My name is Ovela and today we're going to be reacting to a basketball video. It's been a while since I did a reaction uh, about basketball and I have chosen to react to the game between the Lakers and the Pelicans. Uh, it's, it'll be the full game highlights that uh, occurred on the 21st of December. So I've chosen this video because before the Lakers played the Pelicans, there was a lot of talk about the fact that uh, the Brow, who is right there behind me, Anthony Davis, uh, could join the Lakers and apparently LeBron James who would not be opposed to that, obviously, uh, because if... Uh, the Brow joins the Lakers, then they might have a fighting chance against the Warriors. And, you know, all the media out there is talking about it, you know, Undisputed, The Herd, The First Things First. I follow those shows. The only show that I don't really follow that talks about basketball is, you know, ESPN. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I did not watch the game, so it'll be interesting to watch the highlights with you guys. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. I'll be watching it without the audio because I don't want to get the video demonetized, but I'll put like uh, a beat behind it. All right, let's go. Damn, the video is 9 minutes and 42 seconds. All right, we got Braun, Kyle Kuzma, Brandon Ingram. All right, all right. Oh my goodness. Let's see what we got here. Mm-hmm. Pretty clean, pretty clean. LeBron James, my goodness, what a train this guy. It's crazy. He can do it all, honestly. But is it fair, you know? Is it fair? Look at him. He's an amazing passer. He's an amazing dunker. He can shoot the three. The only thing that people say he can do really well is going to the line, you know, shooting free throws. He chokes. Kyle Kuzma. Oh, damn. My gosh. He's got potential. Kyle Kuzma got potential for sure. Look at this guy, man. So tall. He reminds me a lot of uh, Interacumpo. Although, I'd say that Anthony Davis uh, shoots better. But Interacumpo is more athletic. Huh. Lonzo. Lonzo. You know, uh, Lonzo's father made such an impact that most of the time, I forget Lonzo, Lonzo's name. I call Lonzo Lavar. And Lavar is his father's name. All right, so the Pelicans are winning so far. Lego, flush. So, what do you guys think of um, the way the NBA has been, um, you know, changing? It's uh, a lot more fast-paced, you know, a lot more threes, a lot less defense. Man, it's crazy. And now they're scoring as if they were in an all-star game, you know? They score 130 points a game. It's a lot of points. And all that because they've been shooting a lot more threes. See? Threes, threes, threes. Oh, 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 nice dish, nice dish. Who's that, Rondo? Is Rondo playing? Yeah, yeah, Rondo is playing, number nine, okay. Because uh, I thought he was injured. Woof. Where's LeBron, man? Another three, just like that. You know, I'm not so sure that this year the uh, Warriors will win it that easily. I think they're still the favorites to win the championship, but 
the league has been catching up you know like everybody is playing like the warriors that's why uh this year it's it's going to be harder look at lebron james bullying his way under the rim you know the league is catching up everybody is pl playing really fast and shooting three pointers And it'll probably change again. Once uh, every team in the NBA starts playing like the Warriors, there is another team that's gonna stand out because it's gonna come up with its own type of, uh, of game. Just like the Warriors did five years ago. Damn. LeBron James. Is he gonna do his uh, usual spin? Nice to uh, Brendan Ingram. Easy three pointer. Flush. All right, the Lakers are winning. The Lakers are winning. But you gotta respect LeBron James, man. I mean, the Lakers are doing good. Last year, they sucked. Wherever you put LeBron James, that the team is gonna shine. The team is gonna shine. He's an amazing talent. Oh, oh, alley oop. It's too easy. Nice save. Oh, nice. Well, I mean, you're huge. The defender was tiny. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's the advantage that uh, the brow has over uh, Giannis Entaracumpo. Entaracumpo. He, he can shoot, but not as well as uh, Anthony Davis. Man, LeBron James is like Michael Jordan and uh, Magic Johnson and other players combined. It's crazy. I don't know if it's fair though, you know? It's like he is that good because of the type of body that he's got. Like, that body, man. What? Damn, that was a pay buck dunk. Because he used to play with the Lakers before. And he got traded. Ooh! LeBron James. God damn. You do not want to be in front of him. You do not want to be... Oh. Look at Anthony Davis. It's crazy. He was near the three-point line. And he finished at the rim. That's how tall he is. Just like in Taracumpo. They make two steps and they're at the rim. Oh, nice. See, the league is so fast-paced. People don't defend. Or it's not that they don't defend. I don't think that's the case. I think the rules have changed so much that if you barely touch a guy you're gonna get fouled so of course they're not gonna defend as they used to man that guy is tall Ooh. nice smooth Kuzma he got potential he got potential. Even last year, he showed that he had potential. More than Lonzo, that's for sure. What do you guys think of um, the up-and-coming, like, superstar, Zion? I've seen some footage of that kid. <sighs> he is extremely impressive. LeBron James, two-pointer, easy. That, ow, whoa, he missed it really bad. Air ball, nice, oh, he missed it, okay. 
That's a pretty tight game. Ooh! Oh, damn! That's not a foul. I'd say it's a foul, man. He had one hand on his body. With today's rules, that should be considered a foul. Man, LeBron James. What a train monster. Eh! <laughs> What was that? That's a foul. He got his elbow. <laughs> Whoa! Rejection! Julius Randle, where you going, boy? Mm -mm. There you have it. There you have it. And it's a win for the Lakers. Sweet win for the Lakers. Look at the, uh, the, 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 the coaches talking at the end of the game. All right, I think the game is done. I think I'm going to stop the video now. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. What do you think LeBron said to, uh, to the brow? 30 points for... Uh, the Broad 14 for LeBron James. Mm, okay. So, who do you think had the better game? Um, the Brow or LeBron James? I mean, the Brow dominated. He had uh, 30 points. LeBron James had 14. But you cannot underestimate the impact that LeBron James has on the team like mentally um you know assist wise all of that you know lebron james is one of a kind and the brow too the brow too but i think it's risky to put all your winnings on um, the brow because of his physical uh, because of his uh, you know body i think he is uh, more apt to get injured and it's risky it's risky. Uh, so do you think that after the game, LeBron James uh, had a talk with uh, the brow? Like, I don't know, he invited him to a restaurant or something and be like, listen, man, I am 30, what, is he 33? Turning 34, I think LeBron James. I ain't got that much time. I'm in LA. I need to win what is it? He has three championships, right? I need to win three more. Three more or four more. I mean, yo, I have, I don't, I really don't think that he'll be able to match Michael Jordan, you know, uh, ring wise. Um, but you know what? Maybe that's what he told uh, the brow. He was like, I need to win right now. Please, please consider joining the Lakers. We would make a great team. <sighs> I think. The brow would be a good fit, but I don't think that he would be the best fit. I think the best fit for LeBron James are people that can shoot threes, you know? Um, like um, PG-13, you know, Paul George. It's a shame he did not go to the Lakers because Paul George can do it all as well and he's a great three-point shooter so he would have fit really well with uh, with uh, with LeBron James Kawhi Leonard is fantastic he can do everything and he's an amazing defender but people these guys just don't want to be under uh, LeBron's shadow so I can understand why they wouldn't want to join him Oh, yes, apparently next year, um, the other Splash brother, so, what's his name? Oh, my God, I forgot his name, but the other guy, you know, he's, he is a Splash brother, so his three-pointers are amazing. He could join LeBron James uh, to the Lakers. I don't think he will. I mean, that would be a very, very stupid decision to make. He built a legacy... Um, in uh, Golden State, I think it would be, you know, not a smart move to join the Lakers. Even if whatever, I, I heard his dad works with the Lakers or for the Lakers or something like that. Um, but yeah, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. Drop a like and all that jazz. 
and uh, hopefully I'll make more basketball videos on this channel because as you can see, I, I love basketball, I love the NBA and I can talk about the NBA for hours and I'm even doing um, N NBA videos like this on my second channel which is uh, in French. But anyway, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video, subscribe here and wonderful things will happen and turn on your notification bell to be poked for future content. Yayayum. Yeah, yeah.